Okay, so we're going to put a zoom in on this, and we're going to zoom up on Stinky. So we start this on Stinky and, and then pull out after he says his first line to see Coach standing next to him in this shot. So I want to start in tight here and then have the camera move out so then we see this whole frame. First thing I want to do is select my selection tool up top here. Just, and we hover over it. It says selection tool. And, um, and then I need to select on the frame that I want to do the zoom on is this first frame here. So I have to highlight it. And when I highlight it, it turns white compared to the pink. The pink is, uh, shows me that it's a still image. And by turning white, it's highlighted. Okay, so the first step is to selection tool, highlight the frame that you want to put the camera move to. And then we want to come up to the top left here, this top left panel, and we want to click on effects controls. So where it says effects controls in the top left panel. Now I will open this up a little bit. And you might have, uh, I'm not sure what I have open there, but you might have it looking like this, which says motion, opacity, and time remapping. If you saw more, but we close up on, or hit that triangle to the left of motion, we see position and scale. So what I want this move to happen is at this point, so I want to see a close-up of Stinky as he says, All right, so I want it to happen there. I'm going to go where he's, uh, everyone listen up, in that, which is right here. And I could see that in my, because I expanded my audio track. I could see my waveform here. I want it to happen there. So what I'm going to do is click on these two stopwatches to the left of the words position and scale. Those stopwatches, by clicking on them the first time, and you only want to click these once, initiates, it puts in a keyframe. And those of us who worked in, in, in Animate, we put in keyframes. It sets, this happens here. We're going to move along our timeline. This is our timeline. And then we're going to change to a different uh, keyframe. But to, to put that initial keyframe in, you need to click on this, this icon, which is a stopwatch icon. So in front of position, I'm going to click it. And in front of scale, I'm going to click it. And you can see right here, it put in this triangle to indicate a keyframe. So at this keyframe, I want to set up my initial shot. So I'm going to use my uh, scrubber, which is this, if I hover over the scale, I'm going to scale it down first. So I'm going to take that and scale down the, oh, no, I'm going to scale up the image. I need to go up. Yep. So I'm going to scale it up so I'm zooming up on Stinky, but he's out of frame. So then I'm going to move him over to the left by using my, we look at the position. This is our X position, so that's side to side. And this is our Y position that's up and down. So what I'm doing is kind of scaling in on him and kind of just getting the framing of him. I want to see the whole megaphone, but I want to see it just stinking there. So what I'm doing is kind of framing this so it seems nice. We talk about rule of thirds. He's kind of over here to the right side. Megaphone's going there to the left. So you want to find a nice framing for him in a close-up shot like that. So by putting the keyframes here, which are right here, saying stay on this shot till this point, and then I'm going to come to the end of this scene, which is here. I'm going to back up one frame to see Stinky there, and then I'm going to shrink it down so I can see Coach standing next to him. So now I don't need to click any more of the stopwatches. If I click them a second time, I'll show you what happens. Don't do this, but look, if I go to click on that stopwatch a second time, it says, this action will delete existing keyframes. Do you want to continue? No, I don't. I only want to click that stopwatch once. So I'm going to hit cancel there. 
I'm going to set my timeline where I want the change to happen, which is at the last frame of this panel. And I'm going to take this back to 100 and zoom back out. So I'm going to go back out to 100 there. And I'm going to move it over to the 360. Um, that's going to be center. And then it's going to be 240, I think, or 270. Center there. So now I'm back to where I, I wanted to start and to put in two keyframes. So what's happening is... So we have to do this pull out and then we do a quick cut over to the coach. Does that work? I don't know. Maybe I could um, pull out a little sooner. So I could maybe I could take these keyframes by selecting them by using my marquee so they turn blue and then I could drag them over a little bit and just see what this does. Maybe it seems a little better. So what I did with the keyframes if you highlight them, you see, you come over to them, you draw a little box around the keyframes you want to move, and I moved them from the end to, let's see what where this is on my timeline. Hold the shift key here, and that is at the two second mark on my timeline. So we have. So then he goes. <laughs> so I want to do the same thing here. Um, you know, when he jammed the micro megaphone onto his face, I want to cut the stinky first going, hey, and then pull out to him saying, Sarah, as you were saying. So maybe to about here, I'll, I'll do that. So what I need to do again is to highlight the frame I want to affect. So I want to affect this frame where my timeline indicator is. So I highlight that one. So now if I come up to my effects controls, you can see that the motion position scale, the stopwatches aren't blue. There's not a keyframe there, but I want to add keyframes for position and scale here. So I click on those. And then I want to scale it up again. So I zoom up onto Stinky. So I'll go here, move over to the left. The first one is the side to side X axis movement. The second set of numbers are my Y axis the up and down. So I'm going to move this over a little bit more. So I have something like this. <laughs> So, hey, hey, coach. So maybe I'll stay on him there and then zoom out to coach says, as you were saying. So, so let's see where we are here. And this is what you do. Let me out. So maybe I'll go to right about here. Um, maybe I'll go here because last time I realized I went a little farther. We can adjust it. So now I want to bring this out. I don't need. I put in my initial keyframes by clicking those stopwatches, and these are the keyframes here. So now at this point, I want to zoom out to the full frame again. So I'm going to bring my scale back to 100. Yeah, yep, yep. I could type in 100 also. I could come here and type 100. So it's there. But now I need to move this over. So that's going to be 360. Um, is half a uh, 720, and then I'm gonna do uh, 270 is half of uh, 540. So we're back at this shot here. Um, so let's see what we have. So we got a little movement in there. Um, Everyone listen up. I run a tight ship. Ah, put a sock in it, stinky. 
So that's how you can do the camera moves. 